Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center at QuakePrediction.com. It is 8.52 in the evening on Monday, April 5th, 2021. We have four, five areas of concern around the world right now. One is in Alaska, the other is in Japan, Philippines, Taiwan, and New Zealand. So stay tuned for each of those areas. Uh, we're gonna first go to uh, the Los Angeles area first, California. And yesterday, if you were with us and saw the video yesterday, we had a warning from the Los Angeles to Salinas, including this area in the southwest portion of California for a 4.0 to 5.0. And we got a 4.0 right here near Los Angeles. And uh, you can see that's our warning area. This uh, area is very high risk for the next uh, until six in the morning on the 6th. Uh, kind of lingers sometimes past the actual date, the 5th of April. And we'll include this until uh, tomorrow morning, six in the morning. And then this forecast takes place tomorrow, actually from now and through the 6th, 70% up here, and then 70% down here near the Salton Sea, uh, and 65% across LA. So pretty elevated risk across Southern California. Uh, from the 5th and the 6th, then it gets quiet uh, on the 7th and the 7th into the 8th. Very high risk in the Northwest from Ukiah to Petrolia, Eureka and Crescent City. All right, in Alaska, we have a very interesting situation setting up for most likely the risk is on, on the 6th and the 7th down here near Kodiak. And if you live in Anchorage, be on alert on the 7th into the 8th, especially it could hit sooner, but a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is possible uh, during the next 48 hours, most likely on the April 7th or April 8th in that area from Anchorage to Valdez. Over in Chile, Right now, the risk is way in the north, northern part of Chile, and it remains so through this forecast break. It's quiet after that, but right now, during the next 24 hours, we could get a 5.0 to 5.5 in the northern part of uh, Chile. We just got a 4. Point, let's see, 4.6 up in that area, east of Antofagasta, right in here. So this area up here in the north part of Chile could get a 5.0 to 6.0 during the next 24 hours. Over in Italy right now, the risk is in the far south near east of uh, Sicily, right there. And then uh, fifth and the sixth, still same area east of Sicily. Sixth to the seventh, it's more near Tunisia. And then it's, it's kind of quiet on the seventh and eighth, except up in near uh, Croatia, 60% uh, risk then. And here's another very significant warning right now. And there's two models that are, one predicts this area near from Hiroshima to Osaka. The other forecast model is from Nagoya to Shizuoka. So anywhere in this 95% risk area, be on alert for a 5.9 is possible in that area. Even a 6.0 earthquake is possible during the next 24, yes, 24 to 36 hours. And then the risk uh, moves offshore. So stay on alert in that area from Hiroshima to Osaka to Shizuoka, this whole 95% risk area during the next 36 hours. In the Philippines, the area is mostly across the uh, northern part of the Philippines all the way through the next 72 hours, you can see there. 6th and the 7th, 7th and the 8th. And most of that is spilling over from Taiwan and we'll show you that in a minute. But very high risk across the north, far northern part of the Philippines. And in Greece, the risk has been right here from Southern Albania, Western Greece. And if you look at the world forecast here, or the world uh, different earthquakes. This one here was a 4.3 that hit in Southern Albania during the last 24 hours, which is right in here. Now the forecast is a uh, very high risk Northwest of Athens, Greece, Western Greece 
is uh, could get a 5.5 or larger during the next 24 to 36 hours. And then the risk diminishes after that, increases near Istanbul on the 7th and 8th. So if you live in Western Greece, be on alert for a significant earthquake during the next uh, 24 hours or so. Central America, right now the risk is near Western Guatemala, Southern Mexico, but during the next 72 hours, if you live in Costa Rica, what far Western Panama, the risk is very high in Costa Rica for the next 72 hours. And they could get a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake as possible in Costa Rica during the next 72 hours. Indonesia, we could get a 5.0 to 5.5 in Northern Sumatra on the 5th and the 6th. And then 4.5 possible on the 6th to the 7th. And a 5.5 is possible near uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, uh, near uh, the island of Java, maybe just north of Java, on the 7th to the 8th of April. Taiwan could get a 6.0 earthquake north. You see it building in here on the 5th and 6th, 6th and 7th, and then the 7th and 8th. So during the next 72 hours, north of Taiwan and west of Okinawa could get a significant 6.0 earthquake as possible up there. Now in uh, Washington state, there's a very high risk near Seattle during the next 48 hours. So be on alert there. Uh, this is a very difficult forecast. Uh, Washington and Oregon is a very difficult area to forecast for, but right now the risk is very high near Seattle. Over in Turkey, the risk through the forecast through the next 72 hours remains in southeastern Turkey and Iraq. And on this one, southeast Turkey and Iraq, southeast Turkey and Iraq, <laughs> and then over in Iraq as well on the 7th to the 8th. So what, that's where the very high risk is, where a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible, and maybe even a 6.0 is possible in that area. All right, we have two more forecasts. The uh, Costa Rica. No, that's not the one we're doing. We're doing the Caribbean, I'm sorry. Caribbean forecast. There we go. Right now, the risk is very high in the, uh, from the Puerto Rico over to Guadalupe and the northeast portion of the Caribbean. And then on the 5th and the 6th, the risk moves to uh, Montserrat and Guadalupe and uh, over to Dominique, Dominica in this area here of the Las Antilles on the 5th and 6th. And very high risk on the 6th and 7th over the Lesser Antilles near Guadalupe again. And then the risk diminishes after that. So look out in the Northeast portion of the Caribbean during the next 48 hours. New Zealand. Right now, the risk is in the Northeast portion of New Zealand. And if we check the world map, you can see that we got a uh, a 6.0 earthquake right up here in northeastern northeastern uh, New Zealand, which is right here. We got a 6.0 earthquake there. Now the risk on the 5th and the 6th is in central New Zealand. And we just got this uh, quake right here a little while ago at 2.7 near Christchurch. But the risk is uh, in central New um, New Zealand, the fifth and the sixth, sixth and the seventh and the far south. And here is a very big uh, risk area across the north on the seventh and eighth. And this could produce a 5.5 to 6.0 in the northern New Zealand in this highest uh, red area here, anywhere actually north of Wellington here, this whole northern portion of New Zealand could get a 5.5 or a 6.0, the seventh and eighth of April. All right, thank you so much for stopping by today. And we appreciate you uh, your, uh, coming by and stopping by and uh, subscribing to our, our forecast. 
about 165,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, our forecasts keep getting better after 16 years of uh, research. Thank you so very much for your support. And we will see you, what day is it again today? I think it's Monday. We'll see you again Tuesday, tomorrow. And stay safe, especially in the warning areas, uh, Anchorage, Alaska, more uh, uh, 48 hours from now, but Japan, Philippines, New Zealand, and Taiwan. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks again. Thanks. Bye.